My name is Rebecca Martin, and I am the managing editor of Cinema Femme Magazine. And I am so excited to talk to Bridget Francis Harris today about her new project. Just a little background on Bridget. Um, she is the recipient of the um, Breaking Down Walls mentorship program for this year. And uh, she's one of the recipients and she was matched with Jennifer Reeder, which is exciting. So uh, we're really excited about, you know, what she's doing and everything. But uh, yeah, let's just dive into it. Uh, <laughs> uh, how did you come to places of worship? So it's definitely been a long time coming, probably over a year in the making. Um, in terms of the script development. And I knew I wanted to write something after finding out about the D case grant through the city of Chicago. Um, and at the time I had missed the deadline. And so I knew that it's cyclical every year and that by the time the next deadline came around, I would have something to submit. Um, and so that's kind of the origin in terms of like knowing I wanted to write a short film that uh would be doable within the grant um, money that they, the, the yeah. highest grant money. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the content, I had just been reflecting on my childhood a lot. I grew up in Las Vegas um, and I grew up very Catholic. And mm -hmm. so I, I was reflecting on how I used to be an altar server in the Catholic church. And I was like, oh, well, let's do something with that. So that kind of was the origin for everything. And it's had many iterations, many, many, many <laughs> iterations and drafts since the beginning. Um, and it's yeah. kind of fallen where it is now. Yeah, that's, that's great. And I am very excited for this project because I, can you talk a little bit about how you feel like queer teen stories are being told on screen and what this film will be doing differently yeah I think that we all have we all see that like in popular media there's stories like euphoria which are excellent I love euphoria yeah but they're kind of glamorized they're kind of romanticized and and those kind of have their place I think in terms of like content we want to see but I think it was my goal to write teen characters that felt embarrassing and messy mm -hmm. and felt like real teenagers and so we have a surreal kind of container for this film, but the grounded nature of these characters is kind of what contrasts that because I really want them to feel like they're 16, right? Like not 16 yeah. going on 28, <laughs> like 16, don't have it figured out, um, you know, just young people. Um, and so that's kind of my main goal in terms of like the character focus here. Yeah, that's great. And can you talk to me about your team you're building um and and if you have ideas about your casting as well yeah I'll I'll start with casting because we're kind of still in the middle of it um I kind of cast a wide net in terms of where I wanted auditions I did some more traditional casting in terms of like actors access and backstage and got a ton of incredible submissions I think that there are so many talented people in Chicago. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of overwhelming at first because I've never done that. I've never gone through like a traditional casting. Like Carpool, obviously I was in that um, that you saw last year and I yeah. knew the other actress in it. So I had I didn't have to go through a casting. <laughs> like so this was more of a wider net. I also um, don't know many young people. Um, and so that was another kind of hurdle in terms of like, oh, wow, if I really do want these people to look like 16, they do have to be you know, 18 and look really young or like, mm -hmm. you know, freshly in college or out of high school. And so that was, that was a big challenge. Um, but then I also started going on Instagram. I started following friends of followers and just kind <laughs> of feeling out the vibe. Um, yeah. Because Instagram can give us a lot of information. And so I kind of was just like cold DMing people and was like, Hey, like, will you, will you audition for my film? Like, I don't know you, but I think you have a great vibe and I'd love to see your tape. And you know, then we connected from there. So that's great. That's kind of the casting front of it. Yeah. And um, so you're, you're still looking for your like main actor or you, you can't announce. 
I can't announce that. Right, right. <laughs> I gotcha. I just was curious where you were at in the process. And yeah. in terms of behind the camera, um, yeah. what what's going on there? We have a, 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 a hodgepodge team for <laughs> the film, which is really, really exciting. Um, I would say truly diverse in all senses of the word, right? right? Like gender diversity, racial diversity, um, experience diversity. Like we just have, I'm, I'm really lucky to have such an incredible community of people, mainly my producer, Caitlin and my DP, David. Um, they've definitely been my rocks <laughs> throughout all of this and have kind of been with me in the process early on, even like helping me develop the script. So we're definitely like a tight knit group of people. Um, and it's just a, it's a big team effort over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. And you know, I do ask this question, all the filmmakers I talk to, um, and I guess this, I just wonder if this is premature, but I, I don't think it is. Um, what do you hope people see in your film? Yeah, I think to me, this film is, is about resetting expectations of like young queer people mm -hmm. um, and also just like female filmmakers. The film is, I would say, it's a challenging film, right? Like it's not, it's not an easy film to digest. And I've already had lots of people who, who don't necessarily vibe with the film because I think that it like poses a lot of challenging questions mm -hmm. about sexuality and spirituality and religion. And so mm -hmm. I think I'm providing a container for a lot of conversation and that yeah. is really challenging. Mm -hmm. um, and it has been challenging to get feedback from people about how they feel about the content but my goal is not to decide for people how they feel about how these things work in yeah. rather than mm -hmm. to like start that conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I mean, I kind of what we were saying about the whole I, I kind of use euphoria as an example. Again, it's it's no hate on euphoria. I, do watch <laughs> it. I just think that is an example of like the expectations for queer teens to be like completely like in their element and know exactly yeah. who they are and like have it all figured out and and just be you know dressed to the nines all the time like these are not these characters right like all of our characters are deeply flawed and like deeply dorky in many yeah ways. yeah um and to me that 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 is so real and I just feel if if I was an audience member I would want to be like oh yeah I recognize yes that. I recognize yes. that part of myself from years ago and so I just hope that people feel the authenticity of the characters yes. right? it's mm -hmm. not everyone's experience it is like I said it's a surreal piece so there is that element but the characters themselves I want them to feel very very grounded yeah no I love that and I think I think kind of speaking your truth through it and and being you know bring authentic stories to the screen that's all you have to do you know you know people always say like niches or niche whatever <laughs> I can't say right <laughs> Ni niche I yeah so <laughs> I I feel like your store it it doesn't matter like if it's specific it's actually better, better. if it's specific because yep. people you know like Moonlight for example like when I when I saw that I was like I'm I'm not a black queer person from Miami but I really was drawn to this boys like growing up and you know even though it was such a different story I felt it and it just makes like expands your way of looking at people by bringing like um like the humanity to to these characters and I think I think that's great so I I'm looking I'm looking forward to um seeing this when it when it you know starts to come to fruition um can you kind of give a call to action like where you're at in the funding process and like you know what you're offering in terms of people like donating yeah, and all exactly. that so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my producer and I have worked really really hard on this seed and spark campaign and I 10 out of 10 recommend seed and spark it's been a really great experience they offer a lot of um 
custom help in terms of like, yeah, how do you engage your audience, right? Like it's one thing to ask people for money, Mm -hmm. but how do you actually get them involved in your story once you're done asking for their money? And so part of our goal was like, okay, if I wanted to give money to somebody, what would I want in return? And so I was like, okay, I'll make, I think personalizing the gifts was so important for me. So Mm -hmm. some of the things we're offering are like personalized playlists. I love music. I love curating music for people, personalized poems, um, you know, if you're more of a visual literary person. Yeah. Um, and then we also have some custom artwork um, from our poster designer. So people, uh, those are our people at a, a poster factory. Yeah. Um, you want to shout them out. They're awesome. So we'll be sending out little cards with a poster on it. Um, but in terms of where we are in the funding process, we have $6,000 out of our $8,000 goal. So we're, we're getting close, but we only have four days to make it happen and we have yeah. not gotten the green light yet so we need 80 percent of our goal which is going to be mm, you're so close yeah and we're very close we're very close so this is coming at the right time and we yeah have, we just spare a couple bucks and get involved because i think yeah like this isn't me just asking for money this is me like wanting to build my audience of people who who are interested in seeing this yeah and, and are gonna get gonna get that incentive behind it as well yeah and i just think it's important to bring these stories to the screen and I authentic stories, you know, and and queer stories. And I, yeah. So donate everyone (laughs) when you watch some cool things, you get to click on the link and the poster is beautiful. Like I actually wish I could I, show I, I it. Take credit. I shouldn't take credit. I'm I kidding. know, but it, it's so great. So I just to get one of those cards, like that, I'm like, I'm going to get on that right when we're done. Cause it, I just looked at the poster and it's so beautiful. So I, I love it. Um, but yeah, was there anything else you wanted to add in terms of the project or donating or anything yeah. else? Um, we definitely welcome people who are interested in the project. I think there's been some really exciting ways people have been able to get involved beyond monetarily. And so on our Seed and Spark campaign, you can follow the campaign if you're not able to give financially. And that's just as important to us. Um, mm-hmm. We do believe that like as a community, we lend resources. So sometimes like the best way to give is like, you know, by offering us crafty or like if you want a restaurant, you know, spare a meal. Yeah. Or, like, there's other ways for us to get involved that I think, as especially as a Chicago community, um, people can be creative and we can help mm-hmm. each other out in like, you know, exciting ways. Yeah, that's great. Oh God. So yes, donate. That <laughs> that is the message for this. And um, yeah, I hope to have a follow-up interview once this, you know, comes to the screen. I'm really excited. Yes. Yeah. So. We'd love for everyone to see it. That's our main goal. You know, we just want to put it out into the world because what's the point of making it if nobody gets to see it, right? That's right. That's so. right. Um, yeah. So Thank you. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. (laughs) Thank you, everyone. (laughs) Bye. Okay. Yeah, I just ended it. Um, Okay. Yeah, we're